You know, um, I had somebody comment on me, not on an MLP related, uh, uh, MLP topic, topical video, but on one of my other videos I talked about, or one of my other videos I did on a different topic, and they mentioned to me something that um, they asked me to talk about, do a video on, and I figured, well, I might as well because it is kind of, it is kind of uh, unique in a sense, in unique circumstances. Now I don't know what's really going on. I mean, they've just listed off a bunch of different names of of individuals whose uh, channels that have not, I repeat, have not been taken down, but the reaction videos have been. Now, you might wonder, as I adjust the camera here for a bit, you might wonder, you know, what I mean by that. That, if you will, and again, I'm just adjusting the camera here. But you might wonder exactly what I mean by that. And quite frankly, according to this individual, a lot of people's reaction videos, some known, some less known, have been taken down. And these are reaction videos that have to deal with episodes of season nine. The uh, season nine slash the final season, if you will. And a lot of people are, and from what he is telling me, it sounds like a lot of people are not too happy. Uh, he's indicated that we need to let Jim Miller know if this happens. So Jim Miller, I guess Jim Miller has brought, has been, this has been brought to Jim Miller's attention so that he can contact Hasbro and say, hey, what's the big deal? These people are not doing anything wrong. Now, here's the thing. I don't think we could solely put the blame. This is my opinion. Because this is news to me. I don't think we could solely put the blame, or solely, solely put the blame on, um, on Hasbro themselves. I, I don't think we could so, so, uh, solely, as I, again, just my camera there. I don't think we can solely put the uh, blame on, on, uh, on Hasbro. I don't think they can solely take the blame here because we are in, I, wa I want you to think about the time frame as to when these reactions are being taken down. You see, one of the things that I've learned by watching the likes of Angry Joe, uh, a.k.a. Joe Vargas, uh, Lynn Cara, a.k.a. Lewis Lovehog, uh, Matt Bunette, a.k.a. Animat, you know, Doug Walker, er, you know, this Doug Walker, a.k.a. Nostalgia Critic, you know, the likes. You know, Media Hunter, also known as Isaac. Uh, you know, Rob the Wonderful. You know, Bob Show, Rob Thomas. You know, stuff like that. You know, people like that. I, I, you know, Bennett. Bennett the Sage. Um, I think the one thing I've learned by watching a lot of them and, and, their, and their videos on situations like this is they notice that sometimes the copyrights might seem like they're being claimed by the the owners or the you know property owners if you will but then sometimes that might not be the case i mean lately we've been getting a lot of reports that people have been creating fake accounts just to get people's attention to get people talking heck it's even happened to you know big time athletes and celebrities and wrestling stars and all that that they've had a similar situation occur with them that basically long story short there are accounts coming online uh, that's under their name but it's saying stuff that they normally wouldn't say and they have to come out and say that's not us so the reason I bring that up is because we probably are not sure whether or not Hasbro is behind this because if Hasbro was behind this then reactions like mine Brony Master 44 blank slate slash blank check if you will you know um, the Brony react videos that AC Race Best and Saber Spark put up the analysis videos that Dr. Wolf and Thespio and Katie Patterson and you know, cell pe cell packs, you know, and lightning bliss and all of them put up, those would be gone by now too. 
not just this season, but re past seasons as well. They would be gone. This is why I believe what's happening here, if any of it is indeed true, then has I'll put, I'll put it this way. If it is true that Hasbro is behind this, then why now? Is it because of the fact that the episodes are airing early in other countries and they don't want people to know about them yet? Well, Hasbro has no one to blame but themselves for that. They're the ones that made the deals. But then again, on the other hand, it could be just some trolls creating a Hasbro account to make it seem like it's Hasbro and thus fooling the likes of YouTube to get the things take, taken down because, believe it or not, nowadays, even nowadays, in the final season, we still have people out there that think, Oh, you like My Little Pony? That's girly. You're gay. We still have people like that. We still have people like that out there. And because of that reason, because of that reason, we can't solely put the blame on Hasbro. Hasbro may have been guilty of this in the past, and they still might be, but we can't solely put the blame on them. Heck, I told one person uh, a couple weeks ago that the reason I didn't include that opening scene or that one scene at the beginning of between... Uh, the, the reason I didn't put, what I'm trying to say, is the reason I didn't put that one scene from the beginning of the mid-season finale between Dark and Dawn where Rarity is running towards Spike after he gets caught up in a tree that's being eaten by this giant tortoise. The reason I didn't do that was because of the fact that the episode got aired early by a couple weeks in Italy and not here in the U.S. and I didn't want to cause any copyright trouble because to me, that's the only thing that might get Hasbro's attention if you start reacting or using footage and stuff from episodes that have yet to air. The point is, the point is, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm trying to get out of here is if Hasbro's doing this, then it's either because of one reason, several, it's either because someone just got some kind of bug up the butt and is doing it for no, no good reason, or they're just taking down reaction videos to episodes that have yet to air. Or, on top of that, or, or on top of that, it may not be Hasbro at all. I mean, one of the things like I've said that I've mentioned when I've watched the likes of Joe Vargas and, you know, Rob the Wonderful and, and many others, is they will point out the copyright claims being put against them and they'll notice that they don't and they will point out that they don't recognize any of these names and then later on they find out that once they get that claim cleared and find out that there was no reason for it to be claimed they find out basically that that person that claimed it it was somebody that was impersonating some kind of third party uh, company or label or whatever because they want to troll heck I still have somebody um, trolling me on my newer channel, Brian's Discussions, which is also a channel I'm trying to make some money off of. I'll find out about that next month. Uh, but anyway, I still have them trolling me and saying, you know, how gay I am for liking My Little Pony or no one wants this, no one likes that. And I'm not going to say what their name is, but I will say that their initials are GF. Uh, that's all I'm going to say, and I think a lot of you know who I'm talking about. But the point is, but the point is, it's trolls, maybe not like that person, but other trolls out there that will go to the extent, to the extreme to do that. Why? Because maybe in their minds, it's stupid for grown-ups to like My Little Pony. I don't know. I, I don't really know. It could be teenagers too. Teenagers, believe it or not, 15, 16, 17 year olds, have the access and have the ability to do this, they have the way software to do it at times, who's to say it's not them? Because they're in that phrase of, oh, it's too uncool. The fact of the matter is, we don't know what's going on here and why reactions are suddenly being claimed and blocked. But my honest opinion is until the old saying of innocent, 
innocent until proven guilty is showcased. Unless we get physical, visual evidence that it is indeed Hasbro, and what the re and as well as what the real reason it is, if that is the case, then we can't really blame them. For all we know, like I said, it could be just some people that want to troll. That's all. So my take on it is, let's see and wait. Let's see what happens if Jim Miller does listen to the fans, and I will tweet this video to him. Um, I will tweet this video to him so we can see what his thoughts are. Then only then will we find out whether or not it is indeed Hasbro, or it's just some trolls pretending to be Hasbro because they don't like people liking My Little Pony. I don't know. But let me know what you all think down below. Comment if you like. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on this. Talk to you all later.